Good morning, Metal Edge Internet. Welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown. And today we're looking at a brand new EP from Candlemass entitled The Pendulum. That's right, the Swedish doom metal pioneers Candlemass are back with a brand new EP, The Pendulum. Only a year following the release of their critically acclaimed, massively successful comeback album, The Door to Doom, which saw them reuniting with their original lead singer from Epicus Doomicus Metallicus, Johan Lingvist. Critics loved it, the fans loved it, I loved it, even the Grammys loved it. The track Astralus, The Great Octopus, earned Candlemas their first ever Grammy nomination. I know that metalheads don't take the Grammys very seriously a lot of time, and for the record, I don't blame ya, but that is still a huge achievement. Like, let's put it this way. Baroness, Korn, and Slipknot, despite being Grammy favorite rock and metal bands, despite having released critically and commercially successful records all through last year, walked away with nothing. Not even a nomination. But Candlemas got a nomination. That's a pretty big deal. And clearly this is something Candlemas must be aware of, because let's just say it, let's not fool ourselves here, the Pendulum only really exists to capitalize on the success of The Door to Doom and to capitalize on the brief fame that Candlemas have experienced in the aftermath of their Grammy nomination. It's not a terrible release per se, it certainly won't change the minds of Candlemas's most dedicated fans and followers, but it does still strike me as being somewhat desperate and weirdly reactionary, as the pendulum grabs whatever material that Candlemas can spare at this current moment left over from the door to doom, and throws it quite sloppily onto this single release, hoping to leech off of the band's aforementioned modern successes. The patience and determination that made The Door to Doom such a triumphant return for Candlemas is completely lost amongst these jumbled demos. Jumbled demos of songs that were very obviously cut from The Door to Doom quite early into its production. These songs lack focus, they lack polish, they lack any real creativity or flow, to be honest. In fact, a good chunk of these tracks feel very derivative and formulaic, which is not something I can again say for Door to Doom. And all of this amounts to a release that I wouldn't just call Candlemass's worst to date. I would go as far as to say that it comes across as being somewhat incompetent. It's actually kind of hard to believe that this is the same band that, again, made Door to Doom last year. It just feels so radically different professionally and creatively. The tracks Snakes of Goliath and Porcelain Skull for Inish, they're so rough, they're so derivative, they're so frankly generic. It's such basic and uninspired meat and potatoes doom metal. To the point where Snakes of Goliath even starts to sound like something a mediocre Black Sabbath cover band would create in an attempt to write their own original music. There are a slew of unfinished interludes and instrumental pieces on here that are particularly puzzling. They don't really serve any purpose in context of this EP. They don't ever really introduce other tracks or even one another. They just kind of pop in and out of existence. Of all of these little mini pieces, The Cold Room is probably the best, but that's only because it's the only one that feels like it's somewhat finished. And even then, you're dealing with the rumblings of an acoustic guitar set over a pretty generic and obvious synth, with the other tracks immediately falling flat on their asses, amounting to nothing more than the accidental recording of somebody tuning their bass or fiddling with their guitar. Call me crazy, but if I pay for music, I want music, not the band's warm-up routine. The only thing on here that sounds like a fully developed song that could belong on an official studio album is the title track itself, The Pendulum. But with that in mind, I can't help but wonder why it's even here. I can't help but wonder why wasn't this included on Door to Doom as a bonus track or even as part of the regular track listing? Why wasn't it released as the B-side to something else? Why wasn't it released for Record Store Day? Which is why I've come to the conclusion that the only reason the pendulum exists is not to clean the slate or get you excited for another Candlemas album in the near future, but just to capitalize on their success, to leech off of the fact that they are now a Grammy-nominated band. I would go as far as to say that I think Candlemas sold out a little bit with this EP, and that's really disappointing coming from these underground doom metal icons and champions. I'm unfortunately going to give this a 1.5 out of 5, and I'm also unfortunately going to have to confess to you that this is the most disappointed I have felt coming out of a new release so far in 2020.
There's just nothing of value here. The pendulum structurally is nothing more than a series of unfinished songs and studio outtakes. Its existence alone questions the integrity of Candlemass, especially if I'm correct in assuming that this EP only exists to capitalize on the brief fame and acclamation that the band has seen in the last year. Because that to me truly is selling out. Not having a biopic or playing a stadium or having shirts at Hot Topic. That to me is selling out. When you just peddle something out there to literally take advantage of your fame. To literally take advantage of a fan base that is hungry for more music. That to me is selling out. Unless you are a diehard Candlemas fan, I don't see any reason to go out of your way and listen to this EP. Save your time and money. Go listen to Door to Doom. Go listen to Epicus Doomicus Metallicus. Go listen to almost any other Candlemas release because there's absolutely nothing seen on this EP that they do not do a thousand times better on literally any other random album or EP. What else can I really say? This was just a huge, huge disappointment. 1.5 out of 5. It's not terrible, but it is pretty bad. And that is it! For the metal melts, I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on the metal meltdown e-fucking immediately. And you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.